What's going on YouTube, Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at five more amazing tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so the first tweak that I have for you guys today is called RG Board. Basically what it does is it gives you the RGB color scheme for your keyboard. It'll just sit there and slowly rotate through all of the colors. It looks super clean. I really like it, especially if you're trying to go for a neon theme or a gamer theme or something along those lines. Anyways, if we hop into the settings of this tweak, you can go ahead and adjust the keyboard. It looks the best on full OLED black. If you do light or dark, I feel like it's extremely hard to read. So as you can see, you can't really see the keys. But if you go back to full OLED dark, that's how I feel like it should look. So if you just want your keyboard to be a custom color, you can go ahead and set that. You can hide the key shadows, the key caps. But anyways, guys, super simple tweak. I feel like it makes the keyboard look a whole lot better. That one is called RG Board. So this next tweak that I have for you guys is just a cool little status bar tweak. Basically, if you go ahead and tap on any of the icons in your status bar, it will go ahead and show you like the battery percentage, for example, or what Wi-Fi network you are connected to. So if we go over here, it'll show you the date. So if we hop over to the settings of this tweak, you can see there's a couple options, an enable button, and you can go ahead over to the menu configuration. This can show you like the light or dark style or the text color, you can customize all of this. This will also show you the enabled items, so I have it enabled on all of the icons. I think it's just a little quick, useful tweak if you want to see the actual battery percentage but don't want to have the percentage there the whole time, or the date one's really nice also. Anyways guys, that one is called Indie, super clean, simple tweak. Next one we got is called Smart Battery. This one is an amazing tweak if you are having battery issues. This can help your device last a whole lot longer. So basically what it does is it, for one, it can show you a couple different pieces of information about your battery, like your battery health, how many charge cycles, all that good stuff. But if we hop into the settings of this tweak, there is just a ton of different settings that you can configure to improve your battery health. So for example, we have enable low power mode. So basically I can set it to whatever percentage I want for it to enable the low power mode. You can set the custom interval right here. So if we go over to the settings down here, you can see that there's some settings for smart Wi-Fi, which basically just disables the data when the phone is connected to Wi-Fi to eke out a little bit extra battery. There's a whole bunch of other switches and toggles that you can enable to eke out extra battery life. One of the switches that I like the most is Clever LPM, which is just low power mode. So basically when the phone is locked, it will go into low power mode to save extra battery. And then once the phone is unlocked, it'll go back into normal regular mode so that you can still have all the performance. But that is a pretty smart little feature to help you eke out some extra battery life. So you can also see that information. I have it set up so that if I swipe right on my status bar, it'll pull up that information. But you can also enable it so that every time you plug in your charger or unplug your charger, that screen pops up to show you that information. But you can also set up a custom low power mode, which goes into great detail for what exactly you want to happen. So you can go ahead and enable the clever, you can set the custom percentage, disable the cellular data, the brightness. Anyways guys, this one is called Smart Battery. It is jam-packed with a bunch of features that should help you to get better battery life on whatever device you are using. So definitely go ahead and check it out. So this next one also has to do with your battery life. So if we go ahead and tap on this one, it's called Drain. Basically it gives you some extra information, charge cycles, all of that great stuff, battery health. But what it will also allow you to do is go ahead and track down different culprits right now. And what culprits are is basically tweaks that may be consuming battery in the background. Now, as you can see, as of right now, I don't have any culprits. All of my tweaks seem to be running as normal. However, it needs to get a baseline first. So it is best to jailbreak your device and then let this 
be the first tweak that you download so that it can get a baseline reading of how your device's battery is and then you can go ahead and start downloading a bunch of different tweaks. So this is great if you're kind of new to jailbreaking or if you just want to go ahead and have a fresh install you can go ahead and restore your device and download Drain and just get a baseline reading. Don't install any other tweaks for about 24 to 48 hours so it can kind of see how your device performs and then you can go ahead and start installing tweaks after that and you can see which tweaks are causing substantial battery drain on your device. You can go ahead and adjust a couple settings here. So the default is four hours, I believe, to get a reading of how your battery is doing to see if there's any spikes or any increases on battery drain. But for those of you that are experiencing any issues with your battery after installing tweaks, I recommend to use this tweak as a benchmark to see what different tweaks may be causing the battery issues for you. This last tweak that I have for you guys is called Audio Explorer Plus. And basically what it allows you to do is it can go ahead and pull sounds from all of the applications on your device. So a good use case scenario for this is say you have a tool notification sound for a specific app. Like uh, I'm just gonna use the Ring Doorbell app as an example. So they had a cool little notification sound for when someone posts on the community. Say you wanted to put that as your text tone, but that is not an option for you in the ringtone section of your iPhone. So what this allows you to do is go ahead and extract pretty much any sound from any application. So I'll go ahead and show you. We just went to Prime Video. So these different tones were detected in that application. So somewhere in Prime Video, these sounds are there. If you want to go ahead and extract them, you can go ahead and tap on the information. You can do add to. As opposed to add it to your ringtone cue or alert tone, this feature for me has not been working. So I've had to manually add it. And you can go open in, then go ahead and tap copy. It's gonna bring up your share sheet. You can just save it to your files on your device. And then once it's saved to the files on your device, you can just go ahead and use GarageBand to go ahead and set it as your ringtone. If you guys don't know how to use GarageBand to set different tones as your ringtone, I do have a video that I will link right here in the cards right now. However, this is just a quick, simple use case app where instead of looking through all the files on Filesa, because I've tried that, there was a specific tone that I was trying to retrieve from an application and I went into that application's files on Filesa and I just could not find it. This, however, makes it extremely easy because it just finds any sounds that are in any of the applications and you can just go ahead and extract them and use GarageBand to set them as your text tone or your notification tone. Anyways, guys, that one is called Audio Explorer Plus. It is ad supported. The ads can get pretty annoying. But well, that's the video, guys. If you guys like the video, go ahead and feed that YouTube algorithm some like buttons. If you guys love the video, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.